Hey, how you doing? My name is Emilio and thank you so much for joining me on this video today. I work in technology and I absolutely love it. And in this video, we're focusing on why you should never ever throw away your old router. You've gone and you've got an internet in one house, you've then maybe moved or you've gone to a different service provider. And then you've got all these old routers, these old devices that were given to you. Maybe you bought some routers and they're just laying around and you just wanna get rid of them. What do I do? I just wanna throw them out. We're gonna be showing you my top 10 how to reuse an old router. So an old router, what do I do with it? Do I just throw it in the bin? Do I just forget about it? Or can I give it another life? Can I use it for something else? Yes, you can. Here are 10 for you. Number one is use it as a network switch. Now this is not true of every single router, but a lot of routers on the back of them, there are network points. There are ethernet points on the back. Commonly a router could have four network points on the back. And essentially what's happening is this router is actually also a network switch. So you could have devices in your house, in a home business, whatever it may be, that need a network cable plugged into them, right? It may not have Wi-Fi, or perhaps your Wi-Fi is unreliable or it's not as fast as you would like it to be. You can actually repurpose a router and repurpose it as a switch and plug devices into it. Number two is to create a hotspot or create a guest Wi-Fi in your house. So you've got family members who come around and they wanna use your internet. You've got friends who come around and they say, hey, what's your Wi-Fi password? Can I connect to your Wi-Fi? And you give it to them. That could be a good thing. That could be a bad thing. They may know your password. They could get access to certain things in your network that you don't want them to get access to. So you can actually repurpose a spare router. Nowadays, a lot of routers that are provided to you have actually got built-in Wi-Fi. So they're Wi-Fi routers. And if it's got that, you can create a separate, dedicated Wi-Fi network in your house, potentially for your guests. So your guests now connect to this guest Wi-Fi. They connect to this separate hotspot, this separate Wi-Fi network that you've also got running side by side with your other Wi-Fi network, but you don't have to give them that one, you give them this separate network. Number three is to set it up as a Wi-Fi repeater or a wireless repeater. What is this? Well, you've got your Wi-Fi, you've got it in one spot in your house, you've got it in your lounge room, and then you've got your master bedroom all on the other side of your house, and it's just that little bit too far, or your Wi-Fi coverage is just a little bit slower in your bedroom than it is when you're closer to your Wi-Fi router that you've currently got in your lounge room. So what you can do is you can set up this spare router to act as a repeater for your Wi-Fi network. Essentially, you configure this router to connect to your other Wi-Fi router, to your primary Wi-Fi router, and you can actually use it to extend the Wi-Fi network. How brilliant is that? So you have one router, talking to the other router, and then you can actually get better coverage. You repeat the signal and you make your signal larger across your house. It is brilliant, and a lot of people don't even think about that, but you can actually take advantage of another Wi-Fi router to get better speed and better coverage across your house. What about a smart home hub or an IoT, an Internet of Things hub. You've got your router at home, your primary router, you'll say, and then there's a whole bunch of Wi-Fi devices in your house, right? You've got smart lights, you've got maybe doorbells that are smart, you've got all these other sorts of devices. You've got, you know, your Amazon, your Apple smart device assistance devices, right? That are, you know, whatever, that are talking to all of your smart devices in your house. Well, all of those are connected to your network. They're connected to your internal network. Uh, and they're essentially accessible out from the internet. And they're taking up bandwidth. So your primary network is sharing some of its load, some of its speed with all of these smart home, with all of these IoT devices. What if you could have a separate network, a separate router, and that is the device that all of your devices connect to? You could have it potentially, you know, even potentially isolated from the internet, so it's even more secure, but it's also now a dedicated separate Wi-Fi network. So it's used and it's dedicated for one single purpose. And then your other network is used for all of your computers and everything else, but they're not interfering with each other. Number five is set up a NAS. 
What's a NAS, you ask? Well, a NAS is what's called a network attached storage. And essentially, it's a hard drive that's accessible on your network. So you may have USB hard drives, like a standard USB hard drive that you plug into the side of your computer, and that's where you store all your documents and your photos, movies, whatever it may be. And that's an external device. If your Wi-Fi router has a USB port on the back, good for you, because you can now grab a hard drive, a USB hard drive, plug it in to the back of this router, and then you essentially convert this hard drive that was needing a physical connection into a NAS, into a Wi-Fi device, into a wireless network for storage. So now this device could be accessible throughout your entire house over the network. And it's now a dedicated device for your storage. It is brilliant. And you could potentially add additional devices and there's software. If you want to change the firmware on your router, you can convert it into an actual proper NAS with NAS software and things like that. You can get some really cool functions and features out of a router that is acting as a NAS with some attached storage next to it. Number six is that you can use it as a Wi-Fi bridge. What's a bridge? Well, a bridge gets you from point A to point B. It does a little bridge, that's what a bridge is. A good example of this would be a physical Wi-Fi router that you've already got, your primary Wi-Fi router, for example, and then you plug a super long network cable into this spare router that you've got via an ethernet port on the back of that router. Then you've got a device that perhaps doesn't have Wi-Fi or maybe you don't want to connect it to the Wi-Fi. You can then plug that in to this spare router, which has a bridge, a cable running from one to the other. So you're essentially bridging from one device over to your primary network, and that's essentially what a bridge is. You can also do this over Wi-Fi. You can have one Wi-Fi connected to another Wi-Fi, and then devices connecting into that secondary spare Wi-Fi router, and you're creating a bridge on your network. Number seven is to configure your router as a VPN. So VPN stands for Virtual Private Network. It's an encrypted tunnel, encrypted network from you to your home network. You're outside of your home. You wanna to connect to services in your home. How do you do that? You can do that over VPN. So rather than you using something like TeamViewer or some sort of other device that's accessible over the internet, this creates a encrypted secure tunnel from your computer, from your smartphone, when you're outside of your house, for example, directly into your home network on a secure encrypted VPN tunnel. All right, so you can actually get old routers. If you can update the firmware, if you can update the software on some of these old routers, you can actually install and configure them as a VPN router. It's brilliant. I would recommend it. I've done it in the past and it, it's just nice to be able to have a VPN router at home. VPNs are obviously very common in the industry, in businesses, thousands of companies around the world. But if you could set one up at home, hey, that would be awesome because you're ensured that your traffic is secure and that nobody's snooping on your network. Number eight is set up your spare router as a web server. That's interesting, what could I do there? Well, out of the box, a lot of routers nowadays, you can't actually load too much software onto them. What you can do is you can actually change the software, change the firmware on one of these routers and actually install some customized software, some customized firmware, and then install some software onto it, you could potentially set up your router as a web server. A web server, of course, is a device where you can host websites. So imagine having your spare router at home set up with a website. You could install something like WordPress or Drupal or one of these other content management systems, and you run a website right on your spare router from home it's awesome, hey, it's very cool to use a spare router for that. Number nine is for those of you who want to learn more about technology, I love technology and maybe you do too and you wanna learn more about networking and firewalls and DMZs and all of these other sorts of things, well, you could have a spare router, configure it on its own dedicated network. Now that alone is something new, you could set up a completely new subnet, a completely new VLAN, start playing around with all of these networking technologies that are built into routers. Learn, this is a great lab environment essentially. It's, it's a test space for you to start getting skilled up in specific technologies. Play around with firewalls. It's not for everybody, but if you wanna learn more about networking, around networking terms, protocols, security, 
all that sort of stuff, a separate spare router could be perfect. And then number 10, don't just throw it away. We've talked about don't just throw it away. And if you don't want to use it for all of the stuff that we've talked about, why don't you just sell it? Go onto eBay, throw it up there. People want these spare routers. You do not want to just throw it away. Even if you get 20, 30, 40 bucks for a spare router, it's better than nothing. People want spare routers to do some of the stuff that we talked about in this video. So sell it on eBay if you don't want to use it yourself. 10 top tips, don't throw away your router. That's what you should use it for. Do what you do across the social medias all around the world by liking, commenting, subscribing, clicking on my face over there. Check out some of my other videos around all things technology. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time.